Hello beer troopers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the master of hoppers today checking out some classic beer in a little battle I'm doing this on my own and it's not blind because I'm home alone <laughs> But we're checking out some beer that I rarely drink, but I for some reason felt like drinking We're checking out a couple of Vit beers. I think my all-time favorite Vit beer must be St. Bernardus Vit or the slightly different er interpretation of one that Mikla Bauhaun 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 did called Blanche du Bauhaun, which was a really, really fantastic, um, like funky barrel aged interpretation of the Vit. It was, it was really nice. So, we're battling two beers today that I one of them I've had before, the other I actually didn't know this brewery did. So, we're battling Saison or Brasserie Dupont, which is known for Saison Dupont, such a classic. They do a Vit beer called Blanche du Haino. I'm probably butchering it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then Biologie because they do uh, organic beers uh, in their lineup, and this is one of their organic beers. So this is a wheat beer with orange peel and coriander, as per tradition, and it's 5.5 percent re-fermented in the bottle. Not that hazy, even though I actually swirled up the the yeast and and got in there. I mean, look at that, because there's like next to nothing in the bottom of the bottle there. And the other one here is Blanche de Namur, which is a very, very famous wheat beer. I've had this, I've actually done a review years ago of this on the channel. Um, and I thought it was nice, but I still enjoyed other wheat beers over it. The thing is just like with this, it's by Brasserie du Boc, and they really advocate this a lot as being the best wheat beer in the world. It even says it here in the back and not just wheat, but wheat beer, so better than German Hefeweizens. Uh, it has a small little blurb as well, how you should pour it and how you should shake out the, uh, swirl it to get the yeast in and everything, just like with the Hefeweizen. It's funny because a lot of styles I would like not to add yeast, but you do it with Hefeweizens. Uh, I guess it's partly also for the hazy look. But yeah, I mean, it's rare that I do add uh, yeast to beers unless Brewers tell me to. So this will be fun. This is 4.5, this is 5.5. So I'm guessing we should start with this just because it's lower, lower ABV. So Blanche de Namur for sure looks like a true vit. It has that bright golden yellow hue. It has haze, you know, it almost looks like what people nowadays associate with New England IPAs. Uh, a tight white head, much tighter when I poured it out, but it looked really nice. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, lots of coriander. Lots of coriander and lemon and lime, also very fluffy and weedy. Look at how easy it is to generate a head on that. That is awesome. It's like really fluffy the head too. They must use a fairly high concentration of wheat in this. I think, I can't remember, I know Hefeweizen, most brewers use at least 50% wheat in the beer. Uh, I'm not sure if you do that with a, with a, a wheat beer, but I'd imagine. But yeah, big time coriander. Lime, doughy breadiness, like it's totally different to uh, a classic uh, German Hefeweizen just because you don't have the banana profile because it's a more clean uh, yeast they use. Or not clean, it's, it's not, they don't use German Hefeweizen yeast, they use Belgian yeast and that's why you get this character. It's akin to like Belgian blonde, blonde but with spices. There's even some pepper and some nutmeg to it as well. It smells really refreshing actually. For some reason, I, I really, really just want to slug it down right now. I can smell it immediately. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I never drink this style. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. That's a crusher. It, wow, that's interesting though. It falls flat like this. It's like big flavor, gone. <laughs> wow. It has like a tart, snappy orange slash lime, lemon thing up front with sharp coriander. And then it just like into nothingness. It's what you're left with is a little bit of a doughy, bready flavor. Just a touch. Like that doughy, wheaty, it's actually really doughy and really wheaty. There's lots of wheat. It's really refreshing though. 
and it feels quite fluffy. I think a lot of people will say this is watery, but you can feel that there's wheat in there. Like considering it's a very low ABV beer, it's like 4.5%. It's got a good body for that ABV. It's not like thick and rich, and water, but it's fluffy in the mouth. It does finish, oddly enough though, a little bit watery, but I think that's just because it's a lower strength beer. Very refreshing stuff. So let's try and jump over to the stronger one from Poissonet Dupont, that's organic. That's not hazy either. It looks like this also has a nice carbonation. This looks like it's even higher because I can see it streaming from the bottom, bottom of the glass. 5.5% and a more clear, just lightly hazy golden yellow appearance. A uh, white head on this one as well. A couple of chunks in the bottom of yeast, I guess. Let's take out the aroma on the... So, Blanche du Hainaut. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. That's not they're totally different. This immediately, I think, Belgian uh, uh, Witbier. This, I think, more like a Belgian Blonde or something like that. It doesn't have that pronounced coriander thing. It's much more understated. I'm getting more of like pithy citrus on this as well. And it doesn't have that, at least on the, it has a more raw edgy note on the aroma. Like it seems a bit more raw and peppery too, compared to this. Yeah, this was not what I expected whatsoever. I expected pretty classic Vit beer, but it was, actually isn't. Well, let's try it, cheers. Ooh. I wonder if they use Saison yeast in this. There's a lot of stuff going on compared to, yeast character compared to this, and it has a full finish. It doesn't finish like watery. It finishes dry. It's also a whole percent stronger, but. There's like pepper. There's like a, a little bit of green apple, uh, like acetaldehyde-esque flavor, kind of what you also get in Duvel. Uh, just like really like bright fruit, stewed fruit even. Not so much Curacao orange, actually. There is some like pithy citrus, but I think it's also lemon lime. There is the coriander is super light. I think I only pick up on it because I only pick up on it because I know it's in there. I think it's more peppery and like grassy and it's almost like a, a cross like a hybrid between a saison and a wheat beer or a Belgian blonde. But it just has that raspy carbonation of like a Saison Dupont. And also like a lot of the yeast character that almost like champagne-y effervescence and green apple. And it doesn't like have hay like funky vibes or anything like, like you often get in Saisons. But it has like that rustic feel as well. It's quite interesting. I have a feeling I would enjoy these two mixed a whole lot more than the, some of their parts. Because I love the big pop of coriander in this and the fluffiness, but I love the edge and a bit more of a bite to this one. So let's go, 50-50. I wonder if this, can, if this can fit, I think it can, there we go. 50-50, Saison, or Saison Blanche du Haimur, or Blanche du Naino. <laughs> I think Hamur is easier to say. So yeah, now this looks, very much like a, you know, bit beer. Like this one was a little lacking on the haze department, but it, you know, it looks nice in the glass as a blend. Let's take out the aroma now. Yeah, this definitely mellowed out the spice, but this gave this more like coriander spice. I like that. Let's try it, cheers. Interesting. That's actually really good. That is better than the sum of its parts. That is much better than the beers on their own. What the hell? This is leading my mind a bit towards the um, Witbier from St. Bernardus because it's really high in effervescent and big rustic malt flavors, both like fluffy wheatiness and, and like pepper and spice and just like fresh grains, kind of like Saison-esque like this. 
but with big coriander and fluffy breadiness too, like this kind of has. And blending the two of them, you get that. I think this is definitely better as a blend. <laughs> the blend here, I'm almost, if it had just a, something like this, but just a, just turned a touch higher with everything, with body and whatnot. It would probably be like 90 to 92. Right now it's like 88-ish, 89. It is quite nice. And I will say, actually, I'm, I'm, I think I might tie these. They're not half bad on their own, but they got each of their own thing going. They're quite different. It's not like I could pick like which, which one of these two would I rather have. I'd actually rather have both and blend them. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to score both of these like around the 84, 5-ish territory, maybe 83, uh, you know, early eight to mid 80s. They're decent beers, they're decent, uh, you know, they're pretty much, especially this is pretty much what you think of when you think of the style. And this one is just a bit different, but they're tasty beers. Um, but together, they're just magic. It just works. It's so funny when you do cuvee like this or blends, and then it just turns out better than the beers on their own. I love that. It's rare it happens, but it's it's awesome. Mmm. Yeah, that's really refreshing. So if you guys love wheat beers, this is something to do. Get yourself a, a Dupont Blanche de Hainaut and a Blanche de Namur and blend them and have an even better wheat beer. There you go. So if you guys had a chance to try either of these two, let me know what you thought of them. It was really fun to dive into some wheat beer. I don't know, I rarely drink this style, but it'd be fun to get some recommendations. I mean, I'm going to Belgium this summer, so might as well drink some really fresh wit beer once I'm there, besides all the lambic. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. So if you guys had these, let me know what you thought of them. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm gonna say cheers in this delicious blend of beers. And see you guys in another beer review.